Hey everybody, Randy with Lowbuck LS here again. Uh, if you watched my last video, you uh, saw I tried to fit my uh, log manifold for the turbo onto the engine, and it was hitting the air conditioning compressor right about here. So I'm gonna do some modifications to my manifold. I'm gonna cut this 90 off and cut this runner off here and uh, do some rework on it. So that's... Uh, my next move here okay so I got this new like before this 90 came straight up and there was a real short runner here but now I've welded on a new 90 and this 45 to move the turbo away from the head and I've also uh, got it notched out here to clear that uh, air conditioning compressor so should be able to uh, I'm going to call it a night for their, for tonight, but I just got to cut a runner for in here and then I should be able to uh, tack it together and throw it in and uh, give it a test fit. But that's all for tonight. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll talk to you next time. Okay, so I'm continuing on with my uh, modifications to my uh, log manifold here. I just coped out this, uh, it's another one of these one and a half inch um, skid 40 pipe weld elbows and i just coped it out on just with a in the vise with a flapper wheel so that will go in right there for that last runner and now i just got to cut a hole out right there and uh, so i'm gonna break these tack welds apart first i'll mark out the hole then i'll break these tack welds apart and hole saw a hole for that uh, last runner so I broke the tacks on this last elbow and I've got that hole marked out for the uh, last runner here. So I'm just gonna hole saw a hole in that elbow for the last runner. And there's the hole after I've got it cut out with the hole saw. And you can see that little shelf in there from where I notched the, the elbow out to go around the air conditioning compressor. So I got that hole cut out in the manifold and I got this coped piece ready to uh, weld in there so I'm just going to tack that in there and weld it up okay so I got revision two of this exhaust manifold pretty well done um, the last thing I want to do is uh, I've got a two and a half inch V band and a three inch to two inch swedge so I want to uh, basically swedge it down to two and a half and weld this V band onto there so I'm going to uh, caliper the, the OD of this V-band and lock my caliper there and then just make a mark on this uh, swedge here where I need to cut it. So if I cut it right there, it should be the same OD as this two and a half inch V-band. So in order to cut that two to three inch swedge, I just tacked it onto a piece of three inch here. And then I'll be able to put it in the chop saw and hold it securely to cut it at that mark. If it wasn't tacked onto something, it would get away from a guy pretty easy. Okay, so I got uh, that swedge cut down, like I said I was going to there, and now you can see the OD is the same as this uh, two and a half inch V-band, so I'm just going to weld that all together like that. Okay, so I got that uh, cut down swedge welded on there, and got the V-band clamp, or uh, yeah, the V-band welded onto the swedge there. As usual, my welds aren't pretty, but that's kind of the point. They don't have to be pretty, they just have to work because we're doing things low buck. So next thing I'm gonna do, because I'm trying to spend as little as possible on the hot side, I'm gonna reuse this pipe that I cut off from the uh, existing Chevy uh, exhaust system. So I'm gonna cut this flange off of here and weld the V-band onto there because this bend is pretty much what I need to get down to where I need to be and I'll probably just cut the wires off this 
O2 sensor and leave it in there as a plug. Just trying to keep things cheap.